Good day again, my wonderful and amiable listeners. I bring to you another news. The news headline SMBLF demand immediate release of Enam The news in full. The Southern and Middle Belt Leaders Forum, SMBLF, on Friday demanded in the national interest the immediate release of Mazi Oyendo Enam De Kano, who is the leader of the indigenous people of Biatra, Ipo, and a stop and put a stop to any further prosecution of Sunday Ibowo, who is currently in the conditional release of in conditional release in Benin Republic. SMBLF also warned that the continued detention and trial of Kano on charges of terrorism and Trinism felony, while non Boko Haram terrorists are being given VIP treatment at hosted in government houses, is not only is not only provocative and pervidious, but a bizarre double standard on part of the South of the Nigerian state. In a communic issue at the end of the group meeting on Thursday, under the chairmanship of the leader and elder statesman Chief Edwin Clark, it said that more disconcerting is the fact that the women and children rendered widows, orphaned, and displaced by the terrorists that are now being gratified by the federal government and the security agencies are wallowing in wretched IDP's camps. The delegating of the constituent organization of the NMBLF were respectively led by Chief Ayo Adibanjo, leader of the Afeni Ferry Southwest, Dr. Pegu Beatrice, president of the Middle Belt Forum Middle Belt, President Professor George Obiozo, President General of Oanese Indibo, represented by the Secretary, Secretary General Ambassador O.K. Emushi, Southeast, and Senator Emmanuel Obokesien, FNNC, National Chairman of the Pan, Pan Ninja Delta Forum, Pandev, South South. The meeting was also attended by the former governors, former, mini, former governors, ministers, federal and state legislators top politicians and professionals from the South and Middle West regions, including Senator Jonah Jang, Chief Circulars Adebayo, Senator Femi Okurumu, Chief Emmanuel Iwanwanyang, Professor E. Echuku Madibueke, Professor Charles Inwed Kiabu, Chief Gary Igwariwe, former PG Ohanese, Senator Basi Ewa Esso, His Royal Majesty, A.Z. Cletus Ilumaya, Dr. Solomon Arase, Chief Sukbo Sonibare, Chief Shola Ebiseni, Chief Edoze Eduagu, A.Z. Dr. Ibe Umosu, Engineer Becky Bo Dagogo Jack, A.Z. Ozi Chuku Chuku, Elder Stephen Baguji, Dr. Akin Fakounda, Dr. Alabifemi, Dim. Betty Ibeni, MNI, Honorable Dr. Stella Dogu, Nella Andewa San, Dr. Ebon, Dr. Ebon Shonaya, Honorable Edward Pawak San, Dr. Alex Ogonia, Easy Charles Ulisa Kwe, Honorable Captain Amiga, CP Logis Yag, retired, Engineer Bayo Adineko, Elder Mark Emekwari, Comrade Jari. Comrade Jari Ajayi and Ken Robinson, among others. Also, Mrs. Beatrice Aze, Elizabeth A. Dribrin, Engineer Bayo Adeneko, Elder Mark A. Mark Buara, Chief Doyu Douglas Indagi, Akin Osukin Atokin, Honorable Jonathan Ashake Sokapu, and many more attended the meeting. The Southern and Middle Belt Leaders Forum, SMBLF, on Friday demanded in the national interest the immediate release of Mazi Oyendo Inam De Kano, who is the leader of the indigenous people of Biatra, Ipo, and a stop and put a stop to any further prosecution of Sunday Ibowo, who is currently in the conditional release of in conditional release in Benin Republic. SMBLF also warned that the continued detention and trial of Kano on charges of terrorism and Trinism felony, 
while non Boko Haram terrorists are being given VIP treatment at hosted in government houses is not only is not only provocative and pervidious but the bizarre double standard on part of the south of the Nigerian state. In a communique issue at the end of the group meeting on Thursday, under the chairmanship of the leader and elder statement chief Edwin Clark, it said that more disconcerting is the fact that the women and children rendered widows, orphaned, and displaced by the terrorists that are now being gratified by the federal government and the security agencies are wallowing in wretched IDP camps. The delegating of the constituent organization of the NMBLF were respectively led by Chief Ayo Adibanjo, leader of the Afeni Ferry Southwest, Dr. Pegu Beatrice, president of the Middle Belt Forum Middle Belt, President Professor George Obiozo, President General of Oanese Indibo, represented by the Secretary, Secretary General Ambassador Oke Emushi Southeast, and Senator Emmanuel Obokesien, FNNC. National Chairman of the Pan Pan Ninja Delta Forum Pandev South South. The meeting was also attended by the former governors, former mini, former governors, ministers, federal and state legislators, top politicians and professionals from the South and Middle West regions, including Senator Jonah Jang, Chief Circulars Jadibayo, Senator Femi Okurumu. Chief Emmanuel Iwanwanyang, Professor Ie Choko Madibueke, Professor Charles Inwood Kiabu, Chief Gary Igwariwe, former PG Ohanese, Senator Basi Ewa Esso, His Royal Majesty Eze Kletus Ilumwanya, Dr. Solomon Arase, Chief Sukbo Sunibare, Chief Shola Ebiseni, Chief Edoze Eduagu, is a Dr. Ibe Umosu, Engineer Becky Bo Dagogo Jack, Inze Uzi Chuku Chuku, Elder Stephen Baguji, Dr. Akin Fakounda, Dr. Alabifemi, Dame Betty Ibeni, MNI, Honorable Dr. Stella Dogu, Nella Andewa San, Dr. Ebun, Dr. Ebun Shonaya, Honorable Edward Pawak San, Dr. Alex Ogunia, A.Z. Charles Ulisa Kwe, Honorable Captain Amiga, C.P. Lodis Iag, retired, Engineer Bayo Adineko, Elder Mark Imekwari, Comrade Jari Ajayi, and Ken Robinson, among others. Also, Mrs. Beatrice A.Z., Elizabeth A. Dribrin, Engineer Bayo Adineko, Elder Mark E. Mark Buara, Chief Doyu Douglas Indagi, Akin Osukin Atokin, Honorable Jonathan Ashake Sokapu, and many more attended the meeting.